Thursday, 6.45, 12 seconds, year 2023, six month, first day, June. Now, I need to hold you touch me and I need to hold you touch me now and forever So that's the song that was going to the brain this morning as I was in the waking dream stage. I remember there was a girl. She was sitting on a ledge. And then as I look at the screen, the focus is off the girl and off the vision and off the dream and, and distracted with the now. <laughs> And then, you know, getting in touch with the, the sensitivity, you know, as I'm job searching or career pathing or existence exubulating. Because <laughs> I'm going to this job interview and I realize I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna have to express the self and at the same time, the job interview is going to ask me questions. The self, too. And one of the most stopping questions that happens that I get asked at these job interviews here lately is, is tell me about yourself. <laughs> I would freeze up. Something all of a sudden come over me, I'd freeze up, and then fear would overtake me, and then I couldn't. And then this thought entered in that said, you know, God, why am I being asked this? Why do I feel like I have to explain the self? And so there was a big struggle there. But all of a sudden this morning, I had another one of them love epiphanies that you know, to truly express and feel how I feel in the moment and, you know, and deal, deal with all the emotions that are there, you know, or whatever word is there. But, you know, to, to help people, or is it, is it really to help the self? You know, and as the focus drops between the vision and then the distraction with the now, but is the now really a distraction? Is it an opportunity to, you know, because I know in the interview, with this interview, so let me, yeah, I'll, I'll talk as though I'm actually in the interview here. So as I'm in this interview, um, uh, which is like a view of seeing what's really going on, the inner view. <laughs> wow, so look at that. So, uh, so I'm discovering as, I'm, as things are unfolding, <laughs> you know, all these different words and stuff like that. You know, the, the it seems to me the purpose of any job or existence is would, would be corporately to, to help someone get what they want. But also at the same time, there, there seems to be this equal need to also get what I want too. <laughs> and, and a lot of what I want is, is to share what I see going on, which needs improvement. <laughs> And not only just relationshiply, but in the society, 
which is also a relationship too. So, so here it is, you know, bringing the reality as I, I feel the strain and the tension in the lower back as I'm struggling for the expression of, you know, dealing with all the fears because certain things said in, in society are not acceptable or hard to accept. Oh, look, as Boob and I are walking to having a nice little relationship. <laughs> And the door was left wide open last night. <laughs> I was so preoccupied with studying up last night, you know, for an interview. I had YouTube videos, and I was I had this eBay experience last night, and I just felt so overwhelmed to to. Uh, there she is. <laughs> She shake her head and fuck her. So, and then, then of course, at the same time, you know, all this is going on. Job interview, expectations, you know, learning this, learning that, experience in this, experience in that. You know, there's there's this grander connection with this universe. You know, as I've been watching videos saying, you know, the we're on the verge of debt ceilings and. The inner collapse, and the, we're probably gonna have another recession, and it's the hundred-year patterns and the cycles and stuff like that, you know. But yet at the same time, I have this self self-consciousness, you know, that that I'm, you know, part to the, uh, you know, the expressions that I need to bring is part to the solution, not just to the to the small dilemma here is though needing a job to get temporal night order money to, to survive <laughs> but it has has it's it's also in expressions and relation this relating the self because you know i'm a band member you know i'm a musician and god i love to i get too loud sometimes too expressive or too passionate too emotional but this plays into the bigger picture of the whole society too you know, so when it comes down to this job stuff, you know, how can, how, what is it that I have to share <laughs> in expressing the self? Also, you know, that equality and that need for others to express themselves also and get what they want too, that they need to feel satisfied in this existence, which, you know, if they could get a hold of that, you know, then all society would all of a sudden start to heal, right? <laughs> As it's like seven o'clock in the morning and I and I feel this overwhelming as as I'm giving more attention to boob the cat because she has crispy ear. We're, we're going through healer tips right now. And she's she's feeling more included as as I'm also expressing the self too. You know I'm I'm learning how to care for this cat more and more, which I really, I really want, but I've never really had the time <laughs> to really give this cat the attention that she needs or to get her what she really wants. But also at the same time, that would be, you know, what would come up in a job interview, especially this, I'm going to this Debella. It's a, it's a home improvement place. Baths, <laughs> roofs, siding. Uh, uh, and another one. <laughs> there, there, there's four main points. But uh, so you know, r really, what the you know at a higher level, you know, the church society of everything, you know, there's this love that's involved. You know, how can I serve you? How can I, how can I help you get what you want? Because really, what, really what. <laughs> Really what I see everyone wants is really what I want too. And that is, that, that is to have everything that I, that I need to help me feel secure. Which in this society would be a new roof, new siding on the house, a new bathroom. <laughs> and then the fourth thing that, you know, Davila, Davila has to offer. But yet at the same time, those, the new roof, the siding and the bathroom, you know, in a churchly religious way of speaking, it also represents something else. 
in the greater whole, the society, or the lesser whole, the self, and the relationships, and this, this, and that. And, uh, you know, growing, learning to grow, you know. And it's, it's, uh, you know, that, that would be something in the interview that, you know, someone who's probably got more experience in this area and that area and that's could be why they're in a high interviewing position you know and i would be like the child and they would be like the mother or the father you know and they're wanting to hear from the child well i just want to grow mama i want to grow daddy <laughs> so anyway so yeah you know the song and the music you know, it reminds me of a, you know, an interview that I went to yesterday where, you know, I, I felt some hardness in the interview. Here she goes. Look out. Uh, there's, a, there's a different car in the driveway today. <laughs> I always like to, you know, I always like to look out the window and, and I'm wondering, hey, I wonder if the neighbor's here. <laughs> oh, look, the neighbor's on a pattern. <laughs> the neighbor always leaves, starts the car at 8.30 in the morning, every morning, and then whoosh, shifts, it in the, it shifts it in the gear real quick and whoosh, out, out the driveway, drives off, and then shows up around 1.30 <laughs> for a lunch break or what, whatever, some type of break, you know. You know, I'm just being observant in the patterns that are going on around me. So there's there's the cat up there. I'm always always keeping an eye on the cat now because, and I I'm always having to rem remind her, you know, to help her in a way to give her a reminder, you know, what seems what would be best and needful for her, you know, because you know, I I got this bond with her that I don't want to see her get all injured and. You know, and the bad habits that, you know, tend to overcome her cat, you know, would be to, she loves to lay out in the sun. I love to lay out in the sun. So sometimes laying out in the sun, whether it's her or me, <laughs> can be detrimental. Too much sun and stuff starts to get burnt. <laughs> but God, it feels so good just to be laying out in the sun and, oh, God. <laughs> and then when it gets to the point where it's too much, you know, it's it's hard to pull away. <laughs> As I'm looking at this spider right here. So there she goes up there. She's on the roof. And so I'm thinking, you know, pretending like I'm on an interview or a job job quest or, you know, an existence quest, you know. Expressing the self and, you know, like if this was a job or interview or, you know, like a salesman, you know, the Debella thing, you know, the end would be like, you know, well, how can I help you get what you want? And it's always going to be. So here she is. She's up here in the sun. So here I am now in, in, in the question here. These, these two, there's the vision. How can I help? How can I help you get what you want? But yet, there's something going on now. And that would be kind of like representative to the, uh, to the society as a whole, the bad side of society, which really isn't a bad side, but you know, the bad habit side. There it is, the bad habit side. The bad habit side. Anyway, the fact is, I think that if I see certain things in the interview today, which I have at 12 o'clock, it's called an outside sales representative. <laughs> anyway, so, I'm, so here I am, I'm getting up on the roof. I'm expressing the self, because I've been real quiet here lately. I'm just been real, really reflective on, you know, on, on how I express, express the self in the midst of the society with the other people living in these closed, really closed quarter living conditions. 
I mean, it's it's to the point where it just feels so so pressing, so pressing that I'm wondering, God, man, you know, I need as a customer too. It's, you know, me being a customer, or, you know, is that really the right word, customer, but I'll just use it because, you know, me being a something that's needing something, you know, I'd be like, you know, God. <sighs> but then, you know, they're, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to say stuff, you know, and I know stuff needs to be said. Certain words are used, and but then at the same time, certain words also are traps, pits, <laughs> downfalls. <laughs> you know, and, and I know how to explain all this stuff, but it really comes out when I have a free speech zone and it just comes out when it wants to come out instead of being questioned. Because this gets all, all down to the societal cop, cop intervention stuff that goes on. Anyway, so thinking to the self now I got this barrier I got this wet barrier and the cats over there and the cats are just enjoying this fireball in the sky up here what a boob ah feel good <laughs> it, it, this seems to be her favorite spot she likes to go to now in the morning um, as I'm noticing the pattern of things so I got this wet barrier because I got these slippers on and I'm thinking, okay, now uh, I really don't want to get up on here, but I guess I could. I would probably get too wet and probably get wet dirt and stuff all over the clothes, which ain't really a big deal. Societally speaking, say like going to a job interview or, you know, whatever it wants to call it, an existence expectation. <laughs> You know, what can I do to help you? You know. <laughs> One of the the texts that was sent to me, dress professionally, because this is going to be a professional interview or something like that. So, And I'm all into, you know, you know, needing to express the self too, but yet there seems to be this need to compromise and this, this, and that. So I'm thinking, oh, yeah, yeah. And I went on the videos, and they got suits on, and... And I'm thinking, oh, well, I don't got no suits, but I have a leather jacket. I have a nice shirt. It's not really a dress shirt. I guess it could be a dress shirt. But, you know, I got some nice stuff that I could at least wear. Because you know, I know that there's occasions to wear nice stuff. But, but anyway, so getting back here and now, and then there's the vision going back and forth between the small stuff, the big stuff. So I'm thinking, you know, if I get up on this, on this thing to help this cat help boob the cat you know and uh she's up there she needs to soak up sun she wants to soak up sun or she wants a new roof on the house that would be the same thing as you know you know, saying you know i need a new roof on the house i need new siding on the house because you know i'm learning that ants get in there you know, water gets in the cracks in the house and drips down the house. And I learned that there's a need for cedar chips to help repel ants. But if I had, if I had uh, money, you know, money or resources, if I had access to resources, it'd be no problem to get a new roof. If I had uh, ac access to resources, it would be no problem to help the cat get what the cat, what the cat wants too. You know, and knowing what I know in the banking world, you know, everything is supposed to be prepaid. And this plays all into what's going on in society as I watch YouTube videos also. And you know, I see all these videos, especially in Chicago. This is going on big time in Chicago as I'm watching the YouTube videos. There's a lot of people that are just going into the stores and stealing stuff out of the stores. And so businesses are, are saying to themselves, well, I have to close down because I'm losing billions in sales. Eh. But yet at the same time, everything, if the corporation is bankrupt, you know, this gets into 
very touchy information that I know, but yet it needs to be known. If everything is bankrupt, which a lot of people at the tops, the mayors and high officials in cities know that there is a bankruptcy and they know that everything is supposed to be treasury prepaid and it was routed already through the, uh, through the uh, congressional records. <laughs> you know, it was already set up. The treasury prepaid system was already set up then, you know, uh, all this stealing that's going on, that's considered stealing, and all this losing of billions of dollars to where businesses would be, would be paid for uh, having to close, you know, it's not really theft. And businesses don't really need to close because all they are is just a, a resource center, a place to get resources. And so, you know, how does that, you know, you know, I'm thinking, you know, well, you know, th that also plays into another way of saying the same thing, which is, you know, as I'm doing this cat here, it, or with boob to cat, you know, and I'm thinking, you know, this is like, you know, job interview stuff, you know, how do I get the cat what the cat wants, but yet at the same time, how do I get what I want too? And knowing what I know, I seem to hold as a what if and could be, I seem not only to hold an answer for society, for self and others, <laughs> which would be male and girl energy, boy and girl energy. I seem to hold some type of key to that, to where I need to rise you know, in the job market, <laughs> which would be a rise in politics, a rise in uh, diplomacy, you know, a rise to be heard and share what I share. And the thing that I bring into the equation is the queen energy or the girl energy, which is that more affectionate energy, which, you know, the affection is just that expression, you know, the love. <laughs> the tenderness, you know, a much more uh, gentle way to say what's going on and what I need and what I see others need and how, how can I, how can I help not only just help the self get what I need, but at the same time help others get what they need, <laughs> which in this job view is going to be either a new roof, siding, a bathroom and then whatever the fourth thing was so there's the cat over there and she's needing to you know to get this this fireball in the sky energy but what i know is the fireball in the sky energy when it first comes over the horizon it's not as hot and it's not as strong and so you know i don't really need to oh look the birdies are looking to mate see that the girl birdie's like, yeah, you need a mate. <laughs> you know, this this gets all all into the unspeakable things, you know, which is sex also. Mating. Oh my god. And you know, people touching and energies touching. Oh my God! <laughs> and the, the how it all plays out in society, and you know, if I say certain things that society's not ready for, it's too touchy. It's just I don't want to be touched, and then I feel the need that you know, if I touch, then it's gonna just break things, and so I have to just kind of like not say certain things for certain situations. And if I was to bring all this up in the interview and it could come up and, oh my God, it's, it's just going to be a very, you know, touchy situation of what not to say and what to say and what to express and what not to express. So anyway, here's Boob. She needs, cat. she needs a new house.
fluctuating between the inner energy and the outer energy. You know, inner energy is what is it that I need? The outer energy is what is it that boob needs? And if I spend too time on the me part, then the we part <laughs> or the other part is, feels neglected. But yet if I spend too much on the serving part or the, the boob part, then there's the me part that gets neglected. And so there has to be this, this balance, this equality going on. And God, you know, I, I feel the pain in the body, especially in the back and the lower back as I'm expressing and stuff like that. And kind of feeling like I'm on stage, you know, amongst with all the other, you know, because here I am, I'm expressing all this stuff and there could be anyone in the neighborhood, the neighbors, the, cl the close ones or anyone around out in the bike path, they could be hearing what I say, hearing how I express. And so I'm having to deal with all that stage fright and tense tension, but yet knowing at the same time, certain things need to be said and then certain things need to be expressed but also at the same time certain things that need to be said and expressed could also cause a fire to happen cause a war to happen cause conflict to happen with with all the other creatures or with all the other you know souls thought soul thought souls that are around around me you know boy girl energies existing you know negative positive energies some some would just call it creatures some call it creatures some call it people some call it all kinds of different things mind over bodies bodies over minds <laughs> so here i am anyway let me just uh put this video and go to part two and keep the video short and so you know the the, the song that I'm, 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 I got the song going through the mind the melody oh wow so here I'm, I'm looking at these two birds over here and one's got a big old branch in the beak look at the big old branch and I've never seen that before. And the other bird's got a little tiny little branch. And so I'm thinking, okay, now how is this reflective on, on the love, you know? It, it also could be a reflection of how I'm sharing and expressing love or affection or, you know, whatever needs to be, you know, brought into this atmosphere as I'm growing. Oh, there's another bird as I'm growing. I'm to grow and I like to see everything around me grow too at the same time and so you know that could be some type of reflection but anyway you know and, and not necessarily feeling like I have to be understood because you know feeling like I, I need to be understood could be an attachment and that that could cause me a lot of pain for me and so to be able just to express it and just to let it go. And that would be like being on stage, expressing the self, not feeling like I have to be accepted, but just expressing and then just letting it go. So, so here's the cat up there and I'm thinking, all right, well, she needs to have some sunshine. But I have to monitor her and, and help her get what she needs. I need, you know, you know, help her get a new roof, new siding, financing. <laughs> you know, so here I am. I would be in a situation as a sales representative to help someone get access to to the prepaid treasury account or access to existing in society to get what what they need, you know. It's not only just a, a, a new roof, it's also a, a whole new life, a whole new consciousness to expression, a whole new consciousness to what's really going on in, in society, 
you know these are things that I have to offer or bring <laughs> but yet if I say too much in the wrong moment in time and stuff like that then and people aren't ready for it what I have to hear it could rub them the wrong, wrong way you know and God it could be a real childish situation you know <laughs> but you know hey uh, very childish situation. Very childish situation. So, so anyway, and this this gets this gets all into the most hated hated thing in society. The most hated thing in society, and that's that's the child being touched. <laughs> the touchy feelings with children, you know. The, you know, the child in me that was crushed, or that's just another way of saying touched. <laughs> detrimental. It could be detrimentally, or or it could be, you know, you know, uh, it was it was a good touch, and I took it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> or there could have been a good touch and someone else took it wrong. <laughs> yeah. the, you know, the societal bad habit, everything is like, you know, God. Everything gets taken wrong. <laughs> Which would be the, the, the same thing in, in, in Chicago going on right now, you know. Everything's being stolen out of the. It seems it seems like everything's being stolen out of the store, but yet at the same time, the soul energy inside individuals knows, you know, that they need they need certain things, and and so if the resources are there, <laughs> they they need to get it. <laughs> so there's this delicate balance, you know. Well, how does all this stuff? How does all this stuff meld together with everything going on? And so, you know, well, there needs to be, it seems to me, there needs to be something shared into the atmosphere to help quell the situation. <laughs> and that's where I come in. <laughs> the outside sales representative. <laughs> And here I am representing, you know, the girl energy. The expression, that which needs to be expressed that's been squelched. It's been ground down. The outside sales representative. <laughs> so here I am, I'm walking on this grass. I'm walking on this grass. And so all of a sudden I become conscious to what's going on outside me, you know. Because I was just, you know, inside, you know, expressing the inner thoughts and this, this, and that. But yet at the same time there's this outside stuff going on. And I just realized, uh, this grass could be wet. And I could be, you know, the little, sh little booty shoes could be getting you know, all scruffed up, getting all wet. But anyway, but anyway, that that's, I look at this video, just keep wanting to go on. I know I want to keep them short and just go to different parts. So I need to, <laughs> I'm struggling between, you know, stopping what I need to say anyway, but I know where to pick up because I, I know what the big picture is. So let me, as this finger's getting cold, let me uh let me stop it and go to a part 2